if you are someone who has been in business uh, for a while, you might have had this type of thing happen to you when, uh, you know, someone who you may know or trust, or maybe even someone you don't really know or trust, um, sort of swoops in and, you know, sees your great ideas and decides to do them themselves. So first, let me say, um, I know how that feels, right? And as much as we grow and as much as we are abundant and as much as there's really no competition, and I'll get into that in a second, it doesn't feel great in the moment, right? It doesn't feel great to put your hard work and your efforts into something and see that someone just sort of came along and did the exact same thing, right? So first off, I want to say, I'm going to give you four ways to deal with this so that and none of them have to do with the other person, by the way. Um, but these four ways to deal with this are within you, right? Because it really comes down to how we see this and how we treat this um, and how we let it affect our, like us, right? And our business. If you've been following me for a while or you've been on these calls for a while or you did my coaching programs, you'll know that I always say this. No one can do what you do the way that you do it. All right. So that's number one that I want to make very, very clear to you. Um, there could be, you know, you could be a realtor and there could be 20 other realtors on your street. Uh, but no one is going to be a realtor the way that you are a realtor. Right. And, and different people are going to resonate with different people. And so I fully want to say this, that competition, it doesn't really exist when you sit in that place of no one can do what you do the way you do it, right? The same person is really not going to resonate with you the way that they resonate with someone else and vice versa. Um, and also, you're kick ass at what you do. And so you got to remember that and you have to keep that front and center for yourself um, and know that you are in this for a reason and you are doing what you do for a reason. So that's number one. Number two, get used to it. All right. If you you are someone who is succeeding in your business, get used to copycats. Copycats will be everywhere. Now, are you going to notice them all? Probably not, right? When you're really succeeding in your business, but they will be there, right? They, they will be there. And what it really comes down to is the fact that you are succeeding. You are making something look easy, which is a huge compliment. Right. So I want you to give yourself kudos to that, because if you're succeeding, people are going to copy you. They're going to see what you do. They're going to love that. And, you know, is it flattery? Maybe sometimes it doesn't always feel like that in the moment. It is an indication that you are doing something right. OK, so I really want you to put yourself in that space of feeling like, all right, clearly I'm on to something right. Clearly, I make this look easy. And that's a really, really good thing, because if you made it look hard and you were running yourself ragged and, you know, your hair was everywhere and you weren't in your best, people wouldn't want to copy you. Right. They wouldn't want to do what you're doing because you make it look really, really challenging. All right. So that's number two is to get used to it um, and be okay with it, right? Be okay with it because it's actually a compliment. Number three, do not let copycats kill your vibe. Now, I know this is easier said than done, right? And trust me, like I have been, you know, I, I've, I have 20 years of experience as an entrepreneur and I've been in this place so many times, right? And and you meditate on it and you, you know, you try to remove those negative feelings from your sphere, right? And you, you go into the other direction. Um, but really, you have to know that the more this kills your vibe, the worse it is for you. So here's what I want to say to you. If you're an innovator, stay in the space of innovation, right? Innovators remain innovators. So raise the bar for yourself, right? Don't let something else that's out of your control get into your head and get into your positive vibe and get into your vortex, as Abraham Hicks likes to say, because that has no place in your life and in a successful person's business. So raise the bar for yourself and push your limits and Expand your vision, expand your vision, because expanding your vision is going to take you out of lack. It's going to take you out of that funk and it's going to move you into abundance and the ability to attract everything it is in the world that you want. All right. The fourth and final one 
is stay focused on your customers and the experience that you want to have as a successful CEO, as a successful business owner. And what I mean by that is don't let what someone else is doing interfere with the experience that you are providing with your clients, with your customers, and for yourself as a business owner, okay? You are in this to make an impact, to create change. So really don't let that feeling interfere with that, right? Um, so really what I'm saying here is that copycats exist, they're gonna be everywhere, and it's totally okay. You don't have to let it interfere with your business. You don't have to let it interfere with your vibe. And the way that I see it is the more that others start to, um, you know, do exactly as you do, that is an indication that it's time for you to continue innovating and to continue moving forward and to continue stepping it up, right? Complacency is a killer. I'll recap them. Number one, no one can do what you you do the way you do it. Number two, to deal with a copycat is get used to it because they are gonna happen if you are a successful woman in business, it's gonna be there. Number three, don't let them kill your vibe, do not. And number four is stay focused on your customer's experience and your experience as you grow your business and make an impact.